Okay guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of an update to the 4L60 um, little tutorial that I did. And something that I want to work on is the tow haul mode and how to tune for the different um, modes that the transmission has. So if you pull up the, in the scanner, if you pull up the transmission um, uh, state, you know, you'd have to type it into the, into the channels list, but it would pop up and it will populate and tell you what mode you're in, whether it's your normal mode or whether it is your, uh, performance mode, which is your tow haul button that's on the end of your, uh, shift column, um, or the cruise mode, which it'll be cruise mode if you are, have the cruise control set, obviously. So I've kind of been changing my strategy lately on how I do this tuning, you know, for, uh, so if you go through, shift scheduling okay you have a normal a performance a cruise a hot trans and a four low okay um basically normal and hot trans i'm going to leave the same but then the performance mode is going to be the one that is going to be uh, the little button that pops up the trailer on your uh, on your dash when you hit it okay you'll notice that the um upshift uh, pressures have a normal and a performance uh, i would assume the cruise will reference the normal table same thing with the shift time, you have a normal and a performance. And then um, torque converter, you know, when it locks and unlocks, you have the normal, the cruise, and the performance. Okay, so I have a um, stock 2002 Silver Auto file here. Um, and I'm going to show you just kind of how I would set it up because I've been doing this a little bit differently lately. So what I'm going to do to my normal table is I'm going to go in here and it looks like the full throttle shift speed is 36 and 68 that's probably going to be just fine and then the rpm is 56 52 and 8192 um you might could leave that the way that it is or you could bump these maybe like 200 and you could make um you could do something like this just depending on your converter and your cam um, if it's a small cam, if it doesn't doesn't make a, power, a lot of power up top, you could probably leave this alone. Maybe just change that 3-4. But under my normal driving conditions, I want to go in here and take 19% to 75% throttle. And I want to leave these alone, but I want to copy them. And you guys have seen me do this before. And then paste this and then go in here and do a minus 5 miles per hour. Okay, I really, per I personally like this. I think that it works really well. Um, we're gonna go over here and we're going to um, interpolate this. That way the numbers are always moving in the upward direction. And I'm gonna do something like this. And this is gonna be really nice to drive around on. And I'm honestly gonna go ahead and copy this. And I'm gonna put this into my cruise table as well, okay? Now, under my performance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to bump these by, I'm going to bump the whole table by just five miles an hour, okay? And then I'm going to take this table, I'm going here to my, and that was my full throttle shift speed, from 87% throttle and on, I'm going to paste that, whoops. And this is going to be a little bit different. Um, from what they have in here, and that's okay. Why is that not? Yeah, so that'll be okay. Just like that, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to, I can probably actually leave this table the way that it is. Um, and I'm gonna go from 19 to like 69% throttle. Copy this, paste this down here, and then I'm gonna take all of this and do a minus five, okay? And then we'll interpolate this direction, interpolate this direction, interpolate this direction. Um, might wanna clean this up some, not a big deal. Okay, this performance table, what this really has in it, um, you really got to interpolate that one. That's okay, though. Um, this performance table, though, is going to, um, you know, it's going to be pretty aggressive on the upshift if you compare the normal. If you open that and compare these numbers to the performance, it would be far different, okay? And you may even have to back those down, 
Okay, so that's just something to consider. Um, so for my performance shift RPM, um, I'm probably going to leave this, I may just have my normal table do the same thing as my performance. Again, this is just gonna depend on your converter, your tire size, okay? Um, it's going to probably reference uh, this uh, RPM shift speed more than it will, or the, the RPM trigger more than it will the normal. So I've been doing something like that lately, and then under shift pressures, I've been leaving the normal tab basically the basically stock. When so when it's when it's normal or cruising, it, we're going to be here, okay. And then under performance, obviously this is more aggressive, okay. This might be a little too much. You may have to bump it up a little bit in here, you know. But at least you're not going to be, you know, kind of how I had been doing it, which was riding, you know, one one table the whole time, okay. This is probably a little aggressive for the normal table. You may have to drive it and just see what it does. And then, you know, there's your performance table. So that's pretty, pretty appropriate. Okay. When we go over to when the converter locks and unlocks, I'm going to go to performance and I want to lock out third, third again, and then anything above 50% throttle. I like to do something like this. And then we might set this to something like 52. Okay. And then when it comes to uh, the normal table, I might do something like just bumping this by four, seeing how I like that. Same thing with my cruise table, um, just bumping this maybe by four and just seeing how that works. You might decide that at the normal table, you want to keep the converter unlocked in third gear, you know, stuff like that. You know, you really don't want it locked at wide open throttle. Um, so what you may end up having to do is come in here and do something like 256, you know, um, go back into your normal table, 87, you could even go, you'd even go like the 81% throttle and do something like that. Um, you just have to kind of play around with it and see, see what it does, make sure it's not bucking or anything like that. And then torque management, I'm honestly going to leave uh, all the torque management in it. Um, I'm not sure why those numbers are different, um, but I'm probably going to just paste these in here that way. They're both the same. That's like way more. I'm not sure. Maybe it does that because it increases the shift pressure and the timing. So, um, but that the normal table will be just fine. So again, this is kind of how I've just been running. Um, you know, uh, it's been it's been a lot nicer of a driving experience being able to to basically go between the three potential modes. Um, so yeah, this is just something that's been kind of fun to play with and work around. And coming to find out that a lot of the stock stuff, you know, in the, you know, in this this foil sixty file or an eighty file is going to be just fine. You know, the first thing is really moving up these uh, RPM triggers, and then you know, setting your full throttle shift speed and then pasting the last three or four trigger points in the tables and then just kind of interpolating over that aside from the little, you know, the, the five mile an hour downshift difference. That's, you know, I, I think that's what makes the biggest, uh, the biggest difference. So yeah, give this a shot and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.